Hi, this is Dr. Brian Walsh, author of the Fat Is Not Your Fault Guide to Thyroid Health Program. I want to take just a quick second to go over why this course was written and everything that's entailed inside of it. According to statistics, an estimated 27 million Americans are suffering from a thyroid condition today. But according to those same statistics, only half of those people are being diagnosed. That means there's almost 30 million Americans walking around with things like depression, brain fog, inability to lose weight, dry skin, dry hair, constipation, their hair might be falling out, fatigue, and a number of other associated symptoms that go along with low thyroid hormone production. But that's only what the experts say. You see, when doctors consider thyroid hormone production, they're only interested in the gland, and they don't take into consideration what goes into before and after thyroid hormone production. There's a, a much bigger picture when it comes to thyroid hormone physiology that's just not being looked at in medicine today. And when doctors look at this one small aspect of thyroid hormone physiology, they're totally missing a number of other possible defects that will all cause the exact same symptoms. So in reality, when you consider how many people are currently suffering from a thyroid gland dysfunction, the statistics are probably double when you consider all the different hormonal defects that people can have. Potentially 60 million people are suffering from thyroid hormone issues today, and that's only in America. When you consider this broad array of the many different defects that can occur with thyroid hormones, let's take a look at what is in reality happening in the world today. Let's just hypothetically say you have 10 women or men that have the exact same low thyroid hormone symptoms that I mentioned before. When you consider all the different possible defects in thyroid hormone physiology, seven of these women may never get diagnosed as to why they're having low thyroid hormone symptoms. Then when you consider that the laboratory reference ranges are really too broad to catch some of these subtle things, Two of these women may also never be diagnosed, leaving only one woman that may be diagnosed and have an explanation for why she's feeling all of those symptoms. This means again that literally, potentially hundreds of millions of people worldwide are suffering from thyroid hormone issues, like depression, brain fog, inability to lose weight, dry skin, dry hair, constipation, their hair might be falling out, fatigue, and then a number of other things. But in addition to that, thyroid hormones impact every other system of the body, which impacts your health. Things like digestion and digestive function, things like brain function, which is why they typically experience brain fog. There's an increased risk of osteoporosis if you have low thyroid hormones, an incre increased risk of cardiovascular disease, of other hormonal imbalances like estrogen or progesterone imbalances, as well as negative metabolic effects. So the Guide to Thyroid Health program is a comprehensive program that walks you through step-by-step -step understanding every single aspect of thyroid hormone physiology and what to do about it. The first thing is a 28-page manual called the Guide to Thyroid Health. This is a broad overview. If you're not really familiar with the thyroid gland and what it does, it tells you what it is, what it does, and, and generally speaking, how it works. Then there's also what is easily the most valuable part of this whole course is your thyroid lab work evaluation form, and there's an associated video that goes along with it. This takes you step-by-step -step through your own thyroid lab panel so that you can accurately identify which one of those eight possible defects that you might have. And instead of telling you a little bit more about this, I'm going to show you a quick video clip of the actual video that, so you can see exactly how this works. Free T4 was low. Uh, free thyroxine index we're not using. It was a normal T3 uptake. And uh, free T3 was not high or high normal. So in this particular defect, we only have one box checked off. So out of these two things so far, uh, chances are it's more likely defect number one than defect number two. And really what you're doing is you're looking to find out which of these defects has more check boxes in it than the other ones. So in addition to the thyroid lab work evaluation form, there's also a guide to autoimmune thyroid. And any thyroid course that didn't contain uh, information about this particular condition would be missing a huge component because it is the most, Hashimoto's is the most common cause of hypothyroidism, at least in America today, and it's probably also the case in industrialized nations. And if you have this, you actually don't have a thyroid condition, but it's an immune condition. You have to know some important strategies on how to manage that correctly. Then there's a number of videos. The first one's called the Intro to Thyroid. This, again, is just a broad overview of the thyroid. This is really good for uh, auditory learners. It walks you through certain pathways, so you have a better understanding of how this uh, impacts overall health as well as not just thyroid hormone production. Then there's the thyroid physiology video. This walks you step by step through every aspect in a very 
easily understandable uh, way to go through all the different impacts and all the different steps of thyroid hormones. Once you understand thyroid hormone physiology, then there's a thyroid defect video. And this covers the eight most common defects that we see in, clinically today and that all impact people with low thyroid hormone symptoms. And I'll give you a hint that the thyroid gland dysfunction is only one potential defect. And then lastly, once you have all this information, we talk about how to fix these different defects nutritionally so that hopefully you can optimize your thyroid hormones and stop suffering from having low thyroid hormone symptoms. So there again is the Fat Is Not Your Fault Guide to Thyroid Health program. Uh, there's a little bit more information on the website here. I thank you very much for visiting, and I look forward to hearing from you soon. Thank you.